Once again, we're back talking about gemstones. And in this video, we want to talk about an unusual one that you've probably never heard of, Onyx. Like a lot of gemstones, onyx is made of silicon dioxide, so it's considered a silicate. And just like a lot of other gemstones, it has plenty of different colors. But the most valuable one, and the somewhat rare ones, are black and white. A lot of gemstones like opal are more valuable when they're darker, and onyx is pretty much the same thing. But the most valuable ones out of all of them are the black ones with beautiful white lines. But the design is the main selling point. These black and white or pure black onyx are just called onyx. But once they are orange or other colors that resemble a brownish reddish color, they're called a sard onyx. And sard means the color between orange and red. So somewhat brown like this. The first place in history that used onyx as a jewelry was in ancient Egypt. And many years later, when the Roman Empire took over Egypt, they really liked this stone and they also started using it as a jewelry. This is one of the oldest survivors that was made by onyx. This was made in the year 66 AD in the Roman Empire, which still remains to this day. As you know, back in the day, even to this day, there's a lot of beliefs with gemstones and how they make you feel. One of the beliefs that many cultures have about onyx is that it captures negative energy. So if you have it on you or in your house, it captures the negative energy and it doesn't allow you to receive it. We're not sure if any of this is actually true, but if it makes the person feel better, that's all that matters. Because at the end of the day, it's just how you feel. And if it makes you feel more positive, then it doesn't hurt anyone. Anytime you go to different flea markets or any other market where jewelry or stones are being sold, most of the time the precious black stones are sold as onyx, even though most of that is not true, but they still label it as onyx to sell it easier. But you have to know that high quality looking onyx is always faked in these markets. Onyx is not that rare. But black onyx is rare, so you have to be very careful before paying money for this stone. Most of the time these black looking stones are dyed professionally. But how can you tell that these are fake rather than real? Unfortunately, the people that actually dye these stones black do it properly, so it's very hard to tell when you're not experienced. And they're not even dyeing stone usually. They dye glass to make it look beautiful and natural. If you know what you're looking at, you could use a magnifying glass to see what you're looking at. If there's bubbles inside the stone, that means it's made out of glass and it's a fake. And also, the black color has to be natural looking. It can't be too dull or too shiny either like it's polished. There are a lot of fake onyx that are shaped into different things like Mexican onyx, Pakistani onyx, or Italian onyx. And they are all fake. They look like onyx, but it's not real. If you see a beautiful onyx that has mixed colors, especially black and white like this, this is extremely hard to replicate because in a machine where you dye it, it's very hard to get a design like this. So if you see something like this that's being sold as an onyx, it's most likely real because you can't fake something like this. Like for example, this onyx is very obvious that it's natural. Another indicator is that onyx is actually very dense and heavy. And if you compare it to other rocks, it's heavier than usual. Unlike the fake glass ones that are sold around flea markets and other places. We also have another black gemstone that is completely black. It comes from charcoal and in ancient civilizations, they used this stone to create black dye. And anything that had a black color like this, they would call it jet black. And the reason jet black is used is because this stone's name is called jet. Even vehicles that are painted black that are not metallic are called jet black cars. There's two more black gemstones that you should know about. 
One is tourmaline, and the other one is obsidian, which we've made a video on. Tourmaline is also a silicate gemstone that could be made in different colors, even colors like this. Just like we said, onyx is not a rare gemstone, but the best ones are found in the United States and Brazil. But you can also find them in many different countries. Countries like Greece, Yemen, Germany, India, Madagascar, and even England. Another old onyx that was carved is between the battle between Shapur I, the Persian king, versus Valerian. And if you know Persian Roman war history, you know that Valerian was heavily defeated. And in Iran, there is an old carving in the mountains that shows Valerian on his knees in front of Shapur I. As you know, it's very rare to find black eyes. Scientists believe that nobody has pure black eyes, but they have extremely dark brown, which may look black to us. Usually, this is called onyx eyes, and that's for obvious reasons, because onyx is known as a black gemstone throughout history. Onyx comes from a Greek word that means fingernail, and in Greek mythology, it is believed that the goddess Venus clipped her fingernails and the remains turned into onyx. Just like we said in the beginning of the video, different colored onyx have different names. The black ones are called onyx. The ones that have different colors like orange and red and brown are called sard onyx. And of course, there is even different versions, like this one is called Persian onyx. Onyx is a gemstone, so how much do they go for? Unfortunately, there is no real price for this gemstone. For one carat, the price could be $1 or $500. All that matters is the quality, the color, and the size of it.